Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Transformers review for you today. This is Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Optimus Prime. He looks pretty good in the packaging here. Nice picture of him on the side. And I think it's interesting, if you see the picture of him here, and also on the top of the card, it's the same. It shows him with a mouth with no faceplate. But the toy, which I will show a closer look at his face once we get into the toy itself, but the toy does have a faceplate. So I thought that was a little weird. On the back here, it shows the instructions for how to transform him. Robot mode, alt mode, some stuff about an app game. But we'll go ahead and pop this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look. So out of the packaging, uh, Optimus just feels kind of small to me. I don't know what it is, but I think it's just... I think it's the same size as a normal Deluxe Class or Warrior Class now figure, but it just feels tiny to me. The head seems really tiny, and the legs are really tall, but the arms and everything are just kind of compact. I don't necessarily not like it, it's just for some reason it feels small. I'm going to try to zoom in and get a look at this head sculpt, but it's, like I said, very, very small. And as I said before, he does have a faceplate, whereas the face on the card does not. And he's got his eyes in there, but they're really small. So it's really kind of hard to see. But anyway. As far as articulation goes, his head can turn from side to side. He's got a swivel up and down here in the shoulder, as well as this can kind of rock up and down to give you a little bit more movement. Uh, he's got a ball joint here in the elbow. No wrist articulation. Uh, the waist can go around, but that's mostly because of the transformation. Uh, in the hip, he's kind of got out to the side and front and back, plus it looks like he has a thigh swivel, and then he's got not quite 90 degrees in the, in the knee, <clears throat> excuse me, in the knee here, but, and then no ankle articulation. But I mean, you can get some decent poses out of him, he looks kind of good. He kind of reminds me of Galaxy Convoy, or just Optimus Prime from Cybertron over here. Uh, I don't know why, it just kind of, I think the shoulder pads and the way the the visor of the actual truck mode looks, which we'll get to in a second. Now he does come with one accessory. He has this kind of axe with a yellowish orange blade, which looks decent, and he can hold it easily. You just pop it right in his hand, no problem there. And he looks good with it. I think it's a decent figure. Like I said, it's just, for some reason, it feels really small. And it might just be because with Optimus, you're used to getting a giant Voyager or leader class figure. And it's kind of interesting. I believe in this new show, Optimus is supposed to be dead. So he's going to take kind of a back seat in this show. And, and I think Bumblebee maybe sees him as a ghost and kind of gives him vi uh, guidance and advice. I was going to say advice. I was going to say guidance. Give him advice and guidance, kind of like an Obi-Wan Kenobi role. So that would be interesting. I think it's a new take. If that's really what happens, I'm sure they'll bring him back to life at some point because gotta have Optimus. But I think that's a neat idea to have Bumblebee be the leader and he just sees visions of Prime giving him advice. But anyway, I think the robot mode is pretty decent. So we'll get on to the transformation. So his transformation is super simple. You're just going to go ahead and kind of push the whole head section back and that'll fold into the chest. Then you're going to turn the shoulder pads 90 degrees just like that. The hands, you'll see there's a big tab right here, will actually peg right into the hands, just like he's grabbing a hold of it. And then you just kind of move this up for now. You're going to go ahead and peg the feet together, there's a tab right here. Then you're going to turn the waist 180 degrees. Then on the side here there are little panels that you're just going to flip up. And there's a little hole right here on the side, and there's a tab here, so that's just going to go right in and tab on both sides and then you're just going to turn these up and bring them together to form the cab and there you go you have Prime's truck mode so it's definitely not what you would expect from a Prime figure it's very stylized and I don't know I, it, I kind of like the look of it it's definitely not what you're used to but it's kind of grown on me and like I said, I like the kind of stylized cab here. The trailer is really large. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I would have kind of liked maybe an Autobot symbol or something on the side. Might have been nice. Just kind of a you know throwback to the G1 or something. Just to have a little bit more detail. But it's not bad. I mean, it's definitely not what you'd expect for Prime. But I kind of like it. Now, the on the axe here, you'll notice there's kind of a little notch right here where my, my thumb is. 
And then there's kind of another one right here. And there's there's a notch here and a notch here. And this will actually, you can kind of push it down and the notches will fit there so you can kind of store the uh, weapon in vehicle mode. Now it does not say that on the directions, but I just kind of figured that out just by looking at this and seeing the two notches here and figured they had to be for something. So it doesn't work 100% because this one likes to keep popping up. This one's a little tighter. But you can store the weapon in vehicle mode. I mean, it won't fall out or anything, so that's kind of nice. Gives them a little bit of a shark fin. But yeah, like I said, it's it's not what you're used to, and it's a very simplistic transformation, but I don't know. It's an interesting alt mode for Prime, especially since he's in such a smaller class than we're used to. So in closing, I like this guy. I think I definitely would recommend him. He's... Again, not what you're used to for Prime, and he definitely feels very tiny, especially for a Warrior class figure. But I don't know. The design is just very stylized, and I kind of like it. I kind of enjoy getting something different for Prime than just the same giant leader class truck you always get. So, I mean, he's got this kind of big blue backpack on the back, but it's not that big a deal. And, I mean, he's got nice posability with the legs and... I don't know, I kind of just feel like this Prime could kind of get down and dirty, whereas the Leader Class Prime, you know, to transform him back and forth, it's sometimes a bit of a chore. It's nice every now and then to get a figure that's very easy to transform, because I feel like it has more playability. It's simple. You can, you know, he can charge in as a truck and then quick convert and then hit somebody and then transform again if he needs to. Like, it's, it's kind of nice. It's a little bit refreshing to just have something you can easily pick up and change back and forth quickly and just have fun with. Um, but he definitely does feel a little small. I mean, just for fun, here is a comparison with one of the Ninjas I reviewed the other day. So he's kind of the same size. So if you always wanted to do a Power Ranger or Sentai team up with Transformers, there you go. Perfect size comparison. But, uh, I, I think it's fun. I recommend it. I end up finding this guy on Amazon because in my area, he's still not really showing up at Walmart or Target or wherever Toys R Us. So... If you're looking for him, check Amazon. Uh, I found him and a couple other guys on there, the more recent stuff. So definitely check there if you're looking for stuff. But I think he's fun. I recommend him. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Optimus Prime. And thanks for watching.